Hello guys, this is tutorial number two for Silence 12.2. This will show you guys how to load a file in this case. You guys will be loading your test benches for your schematics. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you guys do is make sure that you guys are in implementation. Then go ahead and right click on either one of the schematics. I'm going to go ahead and start with my original equation, which is the one that has not been simplified. I'm going to go ahead and do add copy of source. The reason you guys want to do a copy of source is in case the file you guys are adding gets changed somewhere else. You guys don't lose it. You're going to go ahead and add a copy of the file into your own folder. So I'm going to go ahead and do copy of source. I'm going to find my equations, which I have under my my test benches, which I have under another file, another folder. So I'm going to go ahead and add the original one first. And I'm going to double click on it and I'll go ahead and add it. If you get a green check right here, that means you did good. It's in your folder and you're ready to go. And I click OK. And then go ahead and in the design window, again, go ahead and click on your schematic, the one that you haven't added the test bench to. In my case, it's a simplified equation. So I'm going to go ahead and right click on it, add a copy of source. I'm going to find my source, which is the simplified at D. And then say OK. So let's go ahead and run this test bench. The first thing you do in the design window, go ahead and click on simulation and select simulation and then go ahead and click on whichever test bench you want to do. I'm going to start with my original test bench for my original equation. Go ahead under the same window, the, the design window down here, expand this and then click on behavioral check syntax. syntax. This will check your syntax for your barrel lock. For your barrel lock um, test bench, it should work because for you guys it was given to you guys, so it should come out as a green check. Then go ahead and click on simulate behavioral model, and it should pop out another window where it shows you guys your test bench. So the test bench that I made, I made it so that it gave me the outputs in written letters. So here's my, on the bottom left corner, if you guys see, I have my inputs A, B, C, and my outputs. And I checked it, I checked my outputs according to my true table that I already did. And it looks correct. So my original equation is giving me the correct answers. So another way of checking if you guys got the correct answer is by looking out here on the black window. This green lines that you guys see or feel is your inputs and outputs so the first thing i'm going to go ahead and do is click on this window and minimize it make it smaller so i'm able to see it, my inputs and outputs let me go ahead and scroll this way scroll to the left and it's still too big so okay so z is my output and as you guys can see these here are my inputs and it's correct it uh, looks good so then let's go ahead and run the second test bench. And it's going to ask you when you close it if you guys want to say really want to close. So if you guys want to close it, then click yes. Now I'm going to go ahead and run my simplified test bench. So I'm going to check it for the syntax, make sure there's no errors. And then do behavioral model again for to check, make sure that my Simplified equation came out as my original equation. Make sure that the output is the same. If your outputs are exactly the same, then you guys did it, cor did it correctly. So let me see why it's not. Okay, for a reason I am not too sure, I decided to lose my test bench. So, uh, if this happens to you guys, we just go ahead and add a copy of the source again. Sometimes it does that. I'm not too sure why, but it does it. So it's going to tell you if you want to override it. So I'm say, sure, yes. 
Good, okay. Now go ahead, uh, click on simplify, put it back to simulation, simplify this bench, or whatever you guys named it, and then check the syntax, and click on simulate behavioral model. And I'm going to check my output. My output looks exactly the same as the original equation. So that means that I did it correctly. Now let's go ahead and look at our test bench. I do not want to close this just yet. I want to show you guys something. So that way you guys know why, my, why I was able to get this output right here. So the first thing I want to do is open my Simplify. These tools up here let you do things with the windows. I'm going to go ahead and pop out a window, which is the current one I'm looking at. And since I have Windows 7, I'm able to do this. I'm able to join, just slide the two windows together. So this, uh, if you look to your left side window, right here, you guys can see display and then barely see this input A, B, C. Well, these are just for display purposes. If you look to your right side of, on the right side window, you see the same output and this is just for output purposes so this here that says input and then output are these things in gray that i was that i did to output into the window so that's it guys i uh, hope this helps you out to build your project